And the man's go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video! I'm back with another gunny sack stress. I found the process fun when I made my last one. So I was like, hmm, it's almost fall and that's the time for like longer, more layers kind of. So why not combine my favorite season plus another gunny sack stress Boom. And make an autumn gunny sack dress. So I went to Joann's and found this a beautiful pumpkin fabric. It was on sale, okay. What was it? Like $2 a yard, I think? Something like that. Take advantage of those Joann's sales people. But anyways, so I got three yards of this. So I can have a good skirt and a good bodice. And the dress I am inspired by is this one right here. I saw it on Pinterest and I was like, that's nice. That's, I, I like that. I don't think I'm going to add the ruffle on the bottom because I'm just not good at ruffles and I also don't think I have enough fabric for it. So no ruffle, but I do have the lace. I have just enough lace, I think, to cover the sleeves and like the bodice part and you know how much lace I have and if you don't you should check out my bell video because I have a lot of lace <laughs> and I also have this brown fabric that I dyed myself so if you see dye spots shh, I'm not good at dyeing fabric we know this okay so <laughs> I have this since I can't make a full circle skirt with this I'm going to cut out a half circle skirt, another half circle skirt, and then cut them both in half. Or something of the sort. I don't know. And then we'll like do panels, like four panels of each. And I think that would be very nice. And then probably bias tape for the bodice? I don't know. I actually haven't thought this through. I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. So. There's that. That's about it. So let's get started. This is weird. Why is the orientation like all different throughout? The pumpkins are sideways. They're sideways. Oh well, I got, I, I'll just have to work with it. Oh no, the back is upside down. That's not great. Half of my bodice is going to be upside down. Um, I honestly really do not know how that happened, but we gotta roll with it. Uh, you know, it makes sense in the long run because cause, <laughs> it's called fall, right? And leaves fall so the pumpkins look like they're falling. That's what I'm gonna go with. <gasps> no, I cut it. Oh, I was so careful. <sighs> My tape measure. Man. 
Okay, so here's what we're working with. Here's the bodice pieces, the skirt pieces, the sleeve, and the sleeve cuffs. Yeah, that's it, but I'm probably gonna source it up uh, with more lace and ribbon. So here is our choices in ribbon and lace. I have this that you can see in the original photo. They have this at the waistline, but the problem is I think they have a, a waistband and I do not. I don't have enough fabric for it. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, I have these discolored laces that I might use and might not. Same with this, just off white is what we're or should I use white since the sleeves are like kind of more white than off? I don't know. Um, and same with this little piece. I don't know. And then the ribbon selection. I, oops, I have this little bit of brown. I've used it already, as you can see. My attempt to stop it from unraveling. Um, I don't know. It's pretty dark compared to the skirt brown. Because I didn't know how I was going to add brown to the bodice. Because uh, the skirt panels have brown. Because I don't have that much fabric. Then I found this that I thrifted a while ago. And hello, camera, please. Thank you. And I'm like, this might go really well with it. Like, it's kind of fall-y, right? I, I don't know. It has that cottage core look, so I think this will go good with the bodice. Uh, maybe some of this? I don't know. But that's what we're working with, so I guess it's time to start like seeing how I want to put the bodice together. I've sewn the front facing fabric and the lining together. Now I just have to connect these two together and then finish decorating the front because I can't really do any of the lace or ribbon that I decide to do until these two are sewn together because then the seam allowance will get cut and I'm not good at, you know, doing it half an inch away and then sewing it together. I'm not good at that. I'm scared it's going to get um, messed up. So this is how I'm going to do it. I sewed the lace panels here. And now I'm going to connect this and this. And then we'll get to decorating the front. You know what? I lied. Like the liar that I am. Uh, I'm not sewing the lining and the this fabric first. I forgot a little thing that I was going to do first. I was going to sew the this 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 lace trim on every seam first, and then I'm going to sew and do whatever I said uh, last clip. Okay. So first, I'm going to sew this down on every seam, and then I'll get to the sewing. Oh! Oh! I didn't thread my needle!
Can someone please tell me how this happens? It got stuck. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Oh! 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 Never mind. This is why I should have trimmed my threads. But this is okay. This is okay. Because it got. Oh, oh my no. They're stuck together now. Uh, time to troubleshoot. I know this probably doesn't matter, but I wanted to share. This is the first time all of my seams have matched up. I have to fix that. Uh, but okay. All of my seams have matched up with lining. Like, right. Oh, I gotta fix that too. Anyways. Like, I'm so proud of my. Look. Oh my gosh. Usually they're like off a little bit this time they're not i'm literally so proud of myself <laughs> this has never happened before so yay me anyways i just wanted to share that little update okay on to selling this Okay, it's all sewn together now and pressed. And now I'm going to do three rounds of top stitching. One base top stitch all around the perimeter and then one top stitch with this brown ribbon like I did here. And then another top stitch with this ribbon where it looks how it looks in the inspiration photo so this and this are is only gonna go here and up the sleeve and that's what i'm going to do and i just i just find this so pretty it it's way better than the extra design i had planned to do <laughs> so i totally forgot that i'm supposed to I was supposed to leave some of this open for the strap. But that's okay. That's okay. We're fine. I'll just fold this in, sew it there, and then we'll start the sleeve after all this top stitching. Okay, and break. Okay, I finished sewing it on. Here's how it looks. I think it looks really pretty. I, uh, it's bordering on lace overload, but it looks really pretty. I tried it on and it looks good. Though I think something's missing here. It looks a little awkward. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Like just right here, but um, I don't know. I may leave it. And I may try to put like a little lace flower. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. It's time to think about the sleeves. Here it is, the lace sleeves, just like the inspiration photo. Very pretty, very nice. And this is the sleeve cuffs, because I noticed on the inspiration photo, the sleeve cuffs were the material. Well, it wasn't lace material. I still have to put interfacing on these but that can come later and i think i'm going to pleat the bottom of the sleeve into the cuff because i um, don't feel like gathering and i think pleating would really suit the dress it's not going to be a lot of pleats either so that's okay so i'll get started on the sleeve and then next the next day i will start on the skirt
Do you guys like my sleeves? Ta-da. I put them on. I put them on. Here's the, uh, yeah, the bodice. Here it is. Here's the, the lace I probably shouldn't have worn like this. So I could show you, but, but here's how she's looking like. We love it. We love it. I think it's looking really pretty. Very feminine. Now I do have an update. I don't think I'm going to use the brown skirt pieces because I don't have any brown in the bodice. And I feel like it'd look weird and off if I only had it in the skirt. So I'm not going to use the brown pieces of the skirt. But we'll be using this. It's not going to be as swooshy as I would have liked it to. That's okay, I guess. No sushi skirt, but we'll have a little bit of this. And I have to remind myself to cut pockets out so I can finally have pockets in a dress I make. I feel like all the gunny sex dresses I'm gonna make are, is gonna have pockets. Everything else? No. <sighs> I, I, I know how to insert pockets too. I just don't, I don't understand. Anyways, so today's the skirt. I'm gonna try my best to finish today because it's supposed to be 98 degrees today and I can't work in hot. Hot in me don't mix, okay? I get mad and lazy, everything. So I'm going to try to finish this. So that means hemming this, putting the waistband on, doing all the details on the skirt, sewing it to the waistband, sewing the waistband to the bodice, and then sewing the zipper and we will be done with this. You will see the reveal. We'll all be happy. And I can get on with my next project. Cause I'm running a little bit behind. It's fine, it's fine. We're fine, it's fine, it's fine. I have some cool projects coming up. Anyways, um, are they cool? I'm gonna start getting started because I can already feel the sweat. So I'm gonna cut pockets out, sew some pockets, and then, and then what? And then what? We'll do with the waistband. Oh, wait, no, that's a lie. After I put these together with the pockets, I'm going to do some detail work on the skirt because, as you already know, I have a bucket full of lace. Now, it's thrifted lace, so I might not have that much, but I have a lot of lace, okay? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Okay? And I also bought two more things of brown ribbon. So we can go crazy. Oh shoot. We can go crazy with the details. Just just a tiny bit. Okay, let's get started. finished putting the skirt together and hemming it with the pockets in Let's see if anyone has a tip for putting pockets in and not having the inside be seen I would love that because my pockets I don't know you can always see the inside like I could put like a button or something and close it and then when you face the front you see like the the pocket what is this called opening I guess and it's like that and it looks weird so if anyone has any tips for me they would be greatly appreciated but other than that here's the skirt it goes all the way to my shin I guess yeah that's where it is so now I'm gonna start decorating it
skirt decorations are done. It's a little minimalist compared to my last skirt, but I like it a lot. I think it's very pretty and cute. So the last thing, well things, I have to do is sew the waistband and this lace to the waistband on. Sew the bodice to the waistband and then add a zipper and it will be done. I'm so happy with this. So now I'm going to add the skirt to the waistband and then add the bodice to the waistband and add this lace and then I will be practically done. Matching cuffs. <laughs> 